welcome back. In the last video, I showed you some really interesting ways to get long tail keywords inside Market Samurai and how to use those, those long tail keywords to find lower competition keywords that still have high levels of traffic. Now, what I'm going to show you in this next video is uh, another cool tool, uh, new, <laughs> another cool way to use this new search based keyword tool. Let's start with the keyword trout fishing again, trusty trout fishing, and hit find keywords inside this search based keyword tool. Now I've left a link uh, in this blog post here uh, to the search based keyword tool so that you can you know, find it yourself. Make sure that you write this link down somewhere. So I've hit trout fishing, uh, I've found some keywords around it. What's this on the left hand side here? Categories for this search. What Google is telling us is what categories it believes it should find these keywords in. So if we give sport and fitness a click, we see that underneath sport and fitness relevant to trout fishing is boating and water recreation. And underneath, underneath that is fishing. And we see that trout fishing we can categorize into these categories. First of all, fishing, higher up than that, boating and water recreation, and higher up than that, sports and fitness. Now, we can use this tool to categorize basically any keyword. So let's do, I don't know, something like, uh, let's do computer, you know, something that's right in front of both of us here. We see that computer can be categorized into a huge amount of different, uh, different areas. So uh, let's go for the obvious one. Computer obviously is, can be categorized under computers, under computer accessories. Oh, well, look at this, you've got computer adapters and so forth. There's long tail keywords in all of these areas, and we can find categorized long tail keywords in you know, basically any place that we want. So the really cool ways to use this is it tells us how we should be structuring our keywords in a way that makes sense to Google, in a way that Google wants to see, in a way to give our site the most relevance grouping possible. So if we start off with any keyword, we can see what uh, categories we can use to make a more generic site. We can find out what other relevant keywords should go around it. In fact, if we get rid of the keyword here, and we know that we're in the computers market like we were searching before, and say we're selling computer hardware, and say that it's computer monitors that we're specifically selling, we can also see a huge amount of other relevant keywords that have a high level of searches and up to 800 of those keywords here. So we can find other relevant keywords in our market and we can also see how to categorize those keywords in our market. So if you're ever stuck for how to categorize a keyword or if you ever want to know what other keywords fit into the same category that you're you know, building content in at the moment, this can be a really cool tool to use because you can find out what other keywords are relevant to your original keyword and you can also find out what categories your keyword should be in so you can say you know structure your categories in your WordPress blog for example or you can work out you know you're writing a a, uh, a uh, blog post about a particular topic you can work out what keywords would be relevant and valuable to also put into that blog post so that you can pick up more traffic for that blog post so this is just a very basic way to use this search-based keyword tool, but it's also a really powerful way to use this search-based keyword tool because you're just giving a Google the keywords in a structure that it wants. So this is one of the ways that we're using uh, the search-based keyword tool at the moment, and hopefully it's something that you're going to be able to get some value out of. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you some cool tools or cool strategies for using uh, this search-based keyword tool for actual idea generation.